Hey guys, I'm Kyoko. Welcome back to the Long Dark, where we are fighting the weather of Pleasant Valley. It's windy again. It's very windy again, but we are safe in here and we have a couple things to read, so that's what we're gonna do. We have one more hour of the frozen angle to research, so that's what we are gonna do. We have found food, don't you worry about that. That makes that book burnable now, so that's good. And our fishing skill went up. We're now level 2, although I still don't think there is actually a place you can fish in Pleasant Valley, so that's slightly unfortunate. We also have a small arms handbook, which is cool. I, I've never read this one, but I like it. Improves revolver, firearm skill by 10 points. Uh, let's read it for 2 hours. We might have to eat then, or we might actually not eat, I don't know. Oh, right, right, right. We're too hungry. Too hungry to read kind of silly. Uh, so where are our skills? That's the revolver firearm, huh? Nice. So ours fishing is two. This is one. Good. That, that was added in the previous patch. You know what? I like it. I like the idea of it. It's pretty cool. Okay, let's go back to reading. While we have daylight, we're gonna read. That's just the way it is. It does seem... Oh, looks like the wind has died down a bit. Well, when I say a bit, <laughs> it hasn't actually. No, it, no, it hasn't. Never mind. It sounds a bit better, but it's not actually a bit better. Man, I could use a drink. She really has issues, doesn't she? This lady. Uh, we are definitely carrying too much. We're gonna have to fix that before we go anywhere, but... Uh, since we are not cold right now, let's just quickly pop outside. Let's see the weather. We can we can spend a bit outside before the night comes. And, uh, yeah. Unfortunately, we don't really have any cloth right now to fix our clothing, but we can tear up some of the extra clothing we found. We can do that. We'll, we'll have a... Uh, We'll have enough to start repairing then some of the other stuff. That's only minus seven right now. It's not even bad. It's not even half bad. It's very windy. Yeah, the wind chill is pretty bad. It's okay. The noises some of these things make now. It's quite crazy. I like it. We don't have a rope for that, but we could go back to where we climbed up, take that rope, and bring it back over here. That's something we could do, although we are quite over encumbered and I don't know if that's a good idea, but I think I'll do it because there's that corpse down there that I would like to get. That I would like to get. Of course, we're not climbing down there now or today because we might get ourselves stuck down there without uh, not enough fatigue to climb back up. Should be slightly unfortunate. Also, this terrain over here is a good place to sprain your ankle. Especially if you're carrying too much like we are right now. Should have not went out here with all the gear that I'm carrying right now. Especially like a couple of the trail boots that we definitely don't need, but we're still carrying. Yeah, not needed. Oh, it's only minus six. That's just, that's just pleasant. That is just pleasant. I like it. Good that we have a bit of extra time on our hands. I like this. But if it don't like, if I don't sprain my wrist, uh, not wrist, my ankle. I don't know why I'm keep on saying wrist, but yeah. If I don't sprain my ankle, that's pretty much a miracle. <laughs> but that's okay, cause it's kind of easily healable. Not gonna be too bad. We can drink some tea. We've, we've seen the Raishi mushroom down, down there and I did not go pick them up, which probably a mistake. She is hungry. The lady is hungry. We should feed her, for sure. Feed her. Get her something to drink. All the good stuff. But, uh, yeah, that's okay. Take this. How long does it take you to take this? I'm not gonna be able to carry this load for much longer. Now we are extremely overloaded. 
because we're carrying like 40 and we are tired we could only carry 45 we won't be able to sprint because we are too overloaded so this is like one of the stupidest ideas that I ever had shows that I haven't played this game in a while doing stupidities like this but we can lighten our load a bit by drinking some water and eating some food which I should have done in the other way around because yeah this is now gonna make you thirstier smurt smurt and it's also getting uh, slightly slightly colder that's okay my phone is making noises so I'm gonna make it not make noises stop stop this God damn it thank you okay back to the hill we go spray in our ankle please no the other stuff sure and hopefully in the morning we're gonna have clear weather to see like the whole valley just to see the whole valley below and then we can I don't know we can uh, we can chart our course or something yeah decide what we're gonna do next there is also stuff to explore up top over here I think there was like a bar next to the lake up top and some holes in the ground also known as caves that you could explore and there's the mines way out there that also connect to the the broken highway is it called something like that something something highway i think right to, to, uh, to another region so yeah uh my goal is not to go to another region my goal is to explore the new pleasant valley so we're gonna stay here we're gonna stick to this that is our goal. I would love to find a hatchet or a knife of some sorts. Like, we've been very lucky with firearms. Like, usually that's that's not how lucky you get. Um, but yeah, I've been very lucky in that one. There's also wolves out here. Fun. Fun, fun, fun. Maybe you can use my newfound revolver skills to shoot a wolf or something. Should be easier to target than with a rifle when he's charging you but switching to a revolver when he's charging you might be already too late I'm just going backwards just to be able to you know see if I can see any of the wolves out there does not appear to be the case we're not too cold so that's fine hunger is our main issue these days that's fine maybe I'll find some MREs or something you never know now, if uh, this would be your first time playing this game, I would recommend you play on a Voyager difficulty. It's a uh, you know, nice mix of survival and, well, deadliness that the world can offer. It's a nice mix. It's very, very cool and very chill if you first start. And uh, also, I would recommend playing in Mystery Lake. Mystery Lake is a well-balanced region. It's the first region I believe that was ever uh, available in this game. And it's, yeah, starting uh, player friendly. You have pretty much everything you want. You'll, you'll meet bears, you'll meet wolves. There is uh, quite a few scattered areas where you can find man-made shelter. And where you can heat up. There's also places where you can't find that. And there's caves and all the good stuff. Nothing too crazy dangerous, so I'd say it's very much worth it. And the reason I'm going up here is because right now we actually do have the vision. So that's that's our place down there. That way was the barn. All I see is just endless forest. Up there on top of that hill, that is the access to the Timberwolf Mountain. There used to be some scattered buildings down this way. If you go around that pile of rocks over there. Hmm. And uh, the road is just below us, continuing that direction. I don't see where that hill could be. And by hill, I mean town. So that might mean it's way back this way 
because there is still, you know, there's a bit more over there. Just a hill, it used to be, and then there's more stuff down this way. There was like a... There's this crossroads area, like two houses. Maybe that's, that's the place. Maybe that is indeed the place now. But I'm not sure. Uh, we are, though, in a good position to go check that out. We'd be more in this direction, so I guess we can't really see it. I think. Hmm. Maybe. I don't know. We're gonna we're gonna go explore. Don't you worry about that. But right now, let's get our collective asses indoors, cause this lady is freaking tired. I hope this means it's gonna be nice weather tomorrow. Not just the sign of another uh, apocalyptic blizzard coming. I appreciate that. Very much so, indeed. Because, you know, I would like to explore a bit of this place, a bit more. Not <laughs> just get stuck indoors, constantly. We're also so extremely slow carrying so much gear and being so tired. And being so frozen and being so hungry. All the good stuff. All the good stuff. Lady, you want to eat something? I'm going to give you some stale beef jerky. How about that? Don't get food poisoning. Because that fucking sucks. Alright. We need to store some of the stuff we're carrying. Actually, before we do any of that, we still have some daylight. Let's uh, let's get working. Let's get working. Okay. Uh, windbreaker. It's not heavy, but I think we're gonna rip it up. These things, definitely gonna rip them up. Gonna harvest some leather from those. Arpithermia risk heal, how about that? Harvest the leather, definitely getting rid of the jeans. Harvest those, I would like to repair my new combat pants. We're getting tired, but that's okay. My new combat pants. This thing is also bad. Isn't it? Yeah, didn't we have one more? Didn't we have like two sweaters? I thought we had two sweaters. Maybe we had just one. Maybe that's... I don't know. I don't know. Maybe you just had one. That's fine. Um, Not these. These. Please repair them. Please succeed. I'm gonna need to eat soon. Well, that's okay. If you wanna eat soon, you wanna eat soon. Good. 68 is not so bad. They are good. They're getting there. We have just one. We had just one cloth. So. This thing is probably gonna give us more cloth. So we're gonna harvest this bad boy. It looks like I did uh, waste all of my cloth on the other stuff, huh? So I'd like to repair this thing. This probably takes two cloth to repair. It takes a long time. It's probably gonna be night time before we can do it, and we might fail. It might be too dark for us to do it. Yeah, thought so. Thought so, but we can still uh, rip apart some of this. Although it takes kind of long. Kind of long. Maybe we should go to bed first. Lady, stop being so hungry all the time. How about that? Have a cup of herbal tea before you go to bed. That's gonna give you some calories. You know? Improved rest. How about that? So you can improve, improvably rest. There's the bed. Sleep for six hours. And it's gonna make us very hungry. And it's not gonna be good. You can't really go into negative calories. So there's that. Your dress expired. We're hungry. Our HP is dropping because we're hungry. But you're sleeping, so it's not so bad. I'm gonna pop some more water into her. And then we're gonna I sleep. Dying from starvation. No, you're fine. You're not dying. You're just fine. You are just fine. Sleeping, you use less calories. So, sure, our HP is not gonna be great when you wake up in the morning. Get a pretty, wake up pretty early in the morning. Sleep some more. Wanna be? We wanna be rested. Uh, and then in the morning we can eat before we go out. 
All right. It does sound windy out there. But it does sound like time to eat some peanut butter. How about that? That's 900 calories. You never had this many calories before in your life, have you? Probably not. All right, we're going to be storing some stuff. We're going to, in fact, be storing those boots that I don't want to carry with me. Because they are too heavy. <coughs> Excuse me. The rest of everything we should have equipped. Yes, we do. Yes, we do. I'll keep the cloth. We're still, we're still carrying way too much. Hmm. Drop that bad boy. Drop this bad boy. Oh, oh, the rope. Right, we had the rope. Forgot about that. Transfer all of that. We had the rope, of course. The rope, the rope. Mm, we have a bunch of wood. Okay. Let's go outside. We're gonna tie that rope up. And that rope is gonna be like five kilos less. So that's gonna work extremely well for us. I don't know if we're gonna climb down there right now. Due to the fact that it might be too cold. But we might do it. Might do it. Might do it. Come on. Load up game. Oh, it's uh, minus 12 only. So not so bad. We do have a sprain wrist, but that's gonna go away soon. It is not too bad when it comes to cold. The air temperature is minus 27, so nothing amazing about that. <laughs> yeah, we're gonna climb down here. Why not? Deploy the rope. It only takes a couple of minutes, but you know, you still get to have those. So now we could climb down here and go get that corpse that we saw. But then we're gonna have to climb back up, right? Oh boy. Do it. Do it, do it, do it, do it, do it. Oh, so it goes all the way down. Interesting. Go to the ledge. Okay, being over encumbered is a terrible idea. When you climb. Yeah. That was that was a bad idea. We are over encumbered. Just just go ahead and drop something. Lady, stop it. Uh, what we could do also is eat our food. You know, if you eat it, you don't have to carry it. How about that? Eat that. Nom nom nom. We harvested a recycled can that we're gonna be dropping right now. Drop this one as well. It's kind of a useful thing, but we're dropping it since I made a stupid mistake of going here. Okay. Still over encumbered by a bit. Uh, drink that. Drink that because we're going to have to deal with the fatigue. And what else are we doing? We got to drop some more stuff. Drop one. Thank you. Go on that. Wow, it's slightly weird. The way this is gone. Go on the ledge. I want to go check that corpse out. What's up, buddy? You got a knife or something like that on you? Wow, that was worth it. That was very much worth it. So, now we have a huge climb back up there. It's gonna make us very tired. Yeah, this was really smart. Very smart. Now what you can do, you know, these ledges are here so you can rest between uh, your ascent. Not so much descent because when you go down you don't really get tired as much. But yeah, that was really smart. We got nothing for it, basically. Nothing, but we do have a connection down below now, so that's acceptable. Still minus 12. I could go and wait a bit longer. Uh, over here. Hope that the weather is going to clear out. I would like to go and fix my coat a bit. It does sound windy out there, doesn't it? This coat. 
I would like to fix it. I know it's gonna take a long time. But hopefully I can fix this. Okay, we did fix it though. It is much better now. So more protection. It does sound windier than it was. Not good. But it could also not be so bad. And you know, we gotta go out there a bit. We gotta go out there. It's minus nine, so it is definitely better. All right, I am content with this. The rope will stay there, and we're gonna go down here where we heard wolfsies uh, some time ago. So, fun, fun, and it's getting windier again. Great, gotta get some wind protection, and then it's gonna be okay. All right, so we're gonna be looking for whatever we can find over here in the next episode. For now though, thank you everybody for watching, hope you enjoyed it. Click the notification bell below if you want to see more from me and I'll see you guys next time. For now, go for out.